Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to get the newest AOSP camera application and live wallpaper from the Google Play Edition devices such as the HTC One and the Galaxy S4. As some of you do know, uh, in the Play Store you can actually buy an AOSP based HTC One or Galaxy S4 that just comes with vanilla Android, uh, no overlay, no manufacturer overlay. And what's nice is that we've pulled out a couple applications out of the ROMs and now you can get the uh, camera application and live wallpaper on your device. I do want to make a note that I've only tested this on the S4, HTC One, Galaxy Note 2, and Galaxy S3. Those are the only devices that I've tested it on, so make sure you're careful if you want to go ahead and install the camera on a different device. Um, if you want to, if it works on your device, you can leave a comment and let everyone know uh, what devices it does work on. I'll have a running list going on my website for confirmed devices or ones that don't work. So this is a live wallpaper, nothing too special. It reminds me of Phase Beam. It's called Sunbeam. It's not interactive. It's just bright orange and moves around. That's pretty much it. So that's all I wanted to show you with that. On the S4, I've actually got the... Uh, newest camera open. I have it open on both devices now. So uh, what's nice about it is that it does include Photosphere. So if I go into settings here, you'll see the top option is Photosphere. So I know a lot of people in the Note 2, S3, S4, and 1 all have wanted the Photosphere. So now you can go ahead and do that. It's actually pretty neat. Uh, it's cool to play around with, especially if you use Google+. Plus. It's, it's pretty nice because you can just post them straight on Google+. Plus accidentally exited out of it. Let's go back into it. And of course, as you have take pictures, so let's say I took a picture here, just snapped one real quick. You can swipe over and you can see all the pictures you've taken. I've just taken some standard pictures. You'll see I have one of a pen there. Um, just various pictures that I just took. Uh, also, on some devices, I don't know if it's going to work on all of them, there's a little edit button down here that you can edit pictures. So, uh, apparently I have screen rotation turned off at the moment, but uh, you can change a bunch of different uh, looks to it. So you'll see I've got it somewhat black and white now. You have a different frame to it, so add a different frame, and you can straighten it, crop it, rotate it, mirror it, and add a bunch of things. You can sharpen it, uh, change the contrast, all that good stuff. So there's a lot of different uh, changes you can actually make to these images. I'm just going to exit out of it. I don't want to make any. But then again, you can always swipe back to the camera. So you'll see it has it's always running over there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you tap anywhere on the screen to have it focus. You can also press and hold on the screen. It brings up a quick menu. You've got settings, more options. You can change location, uh, countdown timer, picture size, white balance. So you see white balance brings another row of settings there. You can drop your finger back down to get down to that other settings. And then you have scene mode as well, party, sunset, night, action, none, so then you just swipe up and down. So you'll see I'm swiping up and down. You got flash mode, auto, etc. You can switch to the front camera, so if I want to do that real quick, uh, you'll see, what's up guys, there's me. I can switch back real quick by pressing and holding and going up to the back camera, so uh, that's somewhat quick. You can also change your exposure quickly with that settings menu. So that's options with that, or you can just tap down here and they show up and you can just tap on them normally. You don't have to press and hold and swipe up and down. So that's options with that. Uh, again, you're losing some camera features with this. Uh, it doesn't over, at least on the devices I've tried it on, I didn't overwrite the camera. You'll see on my HTC One, I can go back to the, the Sense camera application right there, so you don't have to worry about that. And that's just about everything I want to show, other than the uh, Photosphere. That's a, another cool feature. Again, you just align these blue dots. You probably can't see it, but you align blue dots, and then you get a full basically 360 view of an image. I believe I have one on here. I do. I went really quickly actually, so these are going to be very blurry images, so just kind of keep that in mind. You'll see I went very, very quickly with it. Uh, it's just of my office here. Um, if I just went to click on this Photosphere button, you'll see it'll casually look around. You see there's my desk, a monitor, You'll see my keyboard, my floor. So you'll see, you can just kind of look around. You should have the window right there. Lighting kit, closet. So you'll see, I mean, it's really neat. You'll see there's a lot of blurred spaces there. That is just because I went so quickly. You do have to take your time when you're doing this. But again, it's very cool. And you can also upload it to Google+. Plus. So um, that's another way that you can look at it on your computer then. So other than that, that's just about it. Everything I wanted to show you, uh, they are APK files. So just go ahead and install them normally, put it on your device. 
go to a file manager, install it, and you'll be good to go. I'll make a note of that at the beginning of the video, but hopefully this helped you out. You test it, test it out. Let me know if it works on your device. Leave a comment. Uh, I'd be really appreciative if you guys subscribe to me as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.